you can see this is the digital caliber right now it's uh you know neutralized to zero so i'm just gonna you know put this down and you can see it's uh 1.05 inches okay so basically it's one over one and one sixteen inches you know because um, this is only accurate to two decimals now this is the so this is the inner bearing and this is the outer bearing as you can see it's coming down to 1.37 inches 1.375 you know so one over three eighth inches for the outer bearing so I know the bearing my bearings are good you know and again let's uh, narrow it down to for this one it says 1.05 inches you know 1.06 inches when I rest this down um, to here 1.06 inches and when I rest this down I get 1.37 inches 1.38 inches and this one is 1.71 you know so when I rest this down I get 1.72 inches and that's the um, inner seal it's gonna rest on this uh, X spindle you know so this is the correct um, 80 standard 84 spindle so I know my bearing is correct and this one is showing 0.98 inches you know for the axle not 0.99 inches or almost one inches you know 0.99 inches for this uh, castle knot uh, size and I can also take this castle knot and measure it like that okay so that gives me a 0.93 inches um, the inside but the outside is let's see the castle knot outside oops Yeah, castle knot outside is 0.93. One inches. You know, so that's how you decide, measure with this. Uh, the accuracy is not good enough. It should really be three decimals instead of two decimals. But it's, you know, it does give you a ballpark as, um, measurement. So it's good enough. So power it off. Push that on off button and that's it, there you have it.